upcoming head of U.S. forces in the Indo-Pacific believes the Navy has all the aircraft carriers it needs and LESS a new threat rears its head. Admiral John Aquilino, nominated to head U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, made the comments during his Senate confirmation hearings at the end of March 2021 ago. In the hearings, Senator Roger Wicker asked Aquilino if 11 aircraft carriers is sufficient for the U.S. Navy. According to him, Senate complied to the law with 11 aircraft carrier, but if that is not enough, then they will try to change the rules. Wicker represents the state of Mississippi, home to one of Huntington Ingalls Industries or HII Naval Shipyards. But HII builds aircraft carriers in Virginia on Mississippi. Got the questions, Aquilino replied, I think currently that the size of that force is correct unless additional challenges show themselves. This is different from recent news reports strongly suggest the size of the Navy current carrier force simply is not enough. The comments come after years of reports of overworked aircraft carrier crews, culminating in the USS Nimitz recent, record-breaking 10-month deployment. If the Navy does not need more carriers, then it seems pretty clear it needs fewer missions for carriers. By law, the U.S. Navy is required to operate a minimum of 11 aircraft carriers. And while it's correct that the service has 11 carriers, that does not tell the whole story. The 11th carrier, the new USS Gerald R. Ford, is currently non-deployable. The ship, whose first operational patrol was originally scheduled for 2018, is hung up on technical issues and may not conduct its first patrol until 2024. In the meantime, the Navy remaining 10 carriers have faced a grueling schedule that wearing out ships and crews. During the Cold War, the U.S. Navy 13 to 15 carriers and attached air wings typically spent about six months or 180 days at a time at sea. But those deployments have steadily grown longer as the carrier fleet has grown smaller. In January 2020, the USS Abraham Lincoln wrapped up a 295-day patrol. Also last year, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower spent 200 days at sea, while the NASA sent USS Theodore Roosevelt on a double pump of back-to-back -back deployments. According to U.S. Naval Institute News, in 2020, Navy carriers spent a combined total of 855 days at sea, 258 days more than all of 2019. If you have 10 aircraft carriers, that does not mean you have 10 aircraft carriers that are ready for action at all times. Carriers typically abide by the one-third rule that governs most fleets, at any one given time, one-third of ships are patrol, one-third are preparing for or just coming off patrol, and another third are in maintenance at the shipyard. In emergencies, many ships preparing for patrol can be surged early and ships returning can delay their returns. So, at any one given time, 4 out of 11 carriers might be available for operations, and up to 5 or 6 in emergencies. What exacerbated the recent pace of operations? Combined COVID-19 pre-deployment quarantines. An on-again, off-again crisis with Iran. An USS Ford inability to deploy, which will leave the East Coast carrier fleet with just one carrier, USS Eisenhower until mid-2021. The addition of USS Ford would only partially fix the problem. The Ford is an Atlantic Fleet carrier, and the Navy Pacific Fleet carriers, like the USS Lincoln, are also heavily stressed. Adding a 12th carrier to the Pacific Fleet would help alleviate the stress on the entire fleet. Could the Navy get by on 10 or 11 carriers? Yes if it chose to substitute other ships for carriers, or reduce the missions requiring a carrier. The Zumwalt-class destroyers or future versions of the Virginia-class submarines, equipped with hypersonic and anti-ship missiles, could substitute the firepower of a carrier in a pinch. 
the Navy could also decide it does not need a carrier in certain regions all the time, particularly against Iran and the South China Sea. But what kind of signal would that send to potential adversaries? Still, one thing seems clear, for the Navy of today, 10 or even 11 carriers aren't enough for the task. The Navy needs more carriers, more carrier substitutes, or fewer missions.